We're going to have a Concordia versus McCook game again. And I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, Concordia's Fox player. Uh, Zola, his name is Sam Martin, and he is going to be a Concordia University Nebraska student next year playing Smash for our team. Oh, I am a player for the Overwatch team, but I am a very big Smash enjoyer, so we'll see how this goes. I'm really excited to see him here next year, and I wish him best of luck here for uh, this last game. But Sola and Nalus are a very good combo. It says here that Sola's actually a Jigglypuff main. I've never seen him play Jigglypuff. He's only played Fox, but I would love to see him play some Jigglypuff here as well. Um, they're going against uh, Nicole, uh, McCook, though, here. And Maggot and Dragon, Dragon Ruler here are a very scary Rob K. Rule combo. But I'm not thinking what we're going to see a K. Roll here if we see a Fox. It'd just kind of be a, uh, also a Palutena. You're just going to get comboed into Oblivion. But uh, as per usual, first stage is random. Team Battle! I'm interested to see what McCook goes here. Simpler. We're gonna run it back here real quick. It's not gonna look for a 3v1 here, so we're gonna end this game pretty fast. Do they not realize that? They're on the same team here. I'm wondering if they know that yet. Yeah, there it is. There's the exit. And it looks like they just now figured out that they were playing in a 3v1 scenario there. But like I said, I like that we're not playing K Rule here just because of the combo heavy characters on the other side. It's gonna be a little risky. The Rob should have a really good matchup against uh, Sola, though. I'm a really big fan of Rob. I like Rob a lot. I think he's a really cool character. Oh, and that's a really early 
stock loss for Dragon, who did not hit the tech with Ness to get his recovery back. That's a big edge guard. Oh, Palutin is at a dangerously high percent here, as well as Fox. And Sola, and Sola goes down, making it even once again. But man, it makes you think what, what the advantage would have been if you don't SD there as Ness. No, Rob and Palutena are both at a very high percent. And we'll see Rob go off the stage. Really dangerous here. Well, can the can Sola? No, he cannot. He cannot edge guard the Rob, and the Rob gets back to stage safely. We're just kind of looking for something to break here. As the Palutena and the Rob are at very high percents, and there goes Rage on Rob. And Palutena is still living at 164%. And there goes Ness. Oh, I thought Ness went off the top, but he did not. Uh, and there, finally, there goes Palutena. Ness living at a very high percent. Usually an up air secures there. But there goes Sola. Oh, wow. And Ness is just not seeming to die. And there goes Ness. He misses the recovery. The, cir the circle drawing was not there. That's okay. And now... And now, um... The cook goes up once, one stock against Concordia here. Or, I'm sorry, Concordia goes up one stock against the cook. And there goes... There goes Sola on the second stock. Well, from the back here from Ness. That is a very lethal back, or back throw. <clears throat> I keep saying that. That's interesting. But uh, there goes there goes Nate. So now it is a one-stock lead, one, lead once again for Concordia. Oh, and there goes an SD from Palutena there. And now this, so now it is even once again. But Ness is at a very high percent. I'd be looking for a pick on him really fast here. Take the stock and maybe make it a 2v1 while it's still close. Oh, he's still low percent. But Fox is getting comboed here. And the Ness is just playing really safe, but goes off the top, and that is a going to do it for him. And now it is a 2v1. And Fox and Palutena are at a very low percent. It's going to take a lot for Nate to come back here. He's just kind of biding his time off the stage, just trying to get a safe recovery, but now he's out of fuel. And that is going to do it for game one. Concordia taking it over McCook. And what seemed to be a pretty commanding victory. Now, if I'm if I'm in a nest fire, I'm going to really be considering if that's the move, if you can't recover, if you can't get back to stage with him very consistently, just because that is probably what lost you the game. Right. We're going to go back to Ness. I do believe in it. However, he just has to clean up those recoveries. Now we're going to game two on Pokey Stadium. McCook loves this one. Uh, I don't... I think it's very good for uh, Rob, so probably why they pick it every single time. No. Oh, wow. And Sola takes a really commanding... Oh, you think Rob is going to have barely any depth here to recover after the first little bit here. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. I don't believe they can. Now, everybody's at a very similar percent. Oh, and that's going to be a big counter from Palutena. But now, Ness is at, a, is at a very killable percent here. Let's see if they can take the stock in a timely manner. But now, it's little, looking a little scary here, and Palutena takes Dragon's first stock with a forward smash. But Palutena is also at a very high percent off stage. Let's see if Nate can capitalize. And he cannot. Very good try for the back here, though. I would have done the same. 
box. And Palutena are both at very high percent as well as Bob. There goes Sola on the box. And that's a really big counter. I mean, you gotta be a little, gotta predict that now. I've seen it a couple times coming from the Malice and Palutena. And there, that's gonna do it from Malice there, taking the stock or getting his first stock taken by Nate and Rob. But Rob is still at a very high percent. Now, Rob is a little heavier, so I can see why he's living this long, but if I'm Fox, I'm trying to combo chain him off the stage very hard. Just hit a very simple back air will do it, and that will also do it an up smash coming out of Sola. Very, very impressive. Oh, and that's an SD from Palutena, unable to get back to the stage. And that is going to be a big, big stock for McCook here. Up one. But Ness is at a very high percent, but so is Sola. So I don't know, we're gonna see something here, maybe from McCook. Oh, and there goes Fox, there goes Sola, and now it is a two stock lead for the hook, and that is not looking great for Concordia here. Oh, wow, and that was a very good combo just to finish off the stock in the last final and make it a manageable game here. But they, he's got to help his Palutena, or else Palutena's going to lose her final stock here, and that would be very bad for Sola. But if I'm here right now, I'm you gotta go for the Rob. I mean, the Rob has a huge hitbox, and he needs to be comboed hard by Fox, or else he's just gonna get so much value. Also, I'm surprised we're not seeing a bunch of drag down combos from the Polytena here. As drag down Nair is going to be one of your biggest combo chain starters. The Fox is very commanding. Can you get this pick on the Ness? Let's see. And the Rob 98 on his second stock still. Pretty scary. Oh, and there goes Palutena, and now it's just going to be a cleanup job for McCook, and now you're going 1-1. One, one. I don't think there needs to be any changes made necessarily here. The Ness on game two was a lot better. I did really like it. He, got, he gets a ton of value. And the Rob just stayed alive forever. And that's kind of what you want to do for, as Rob is you just kind of zone out and maybe get a little bit of a cheeky back air in there whether once or twice a game. But Rob just lives and does damage. So I like the Rob pick a lot. And now we're going to game three. No changes made to either roster. Which, oh wait, no, uh, excuse me. Sola changes from Fox to Terry, which is gonna be very interesting. I'm guessing that it's going to be for the Rob, or, I, or more maybe than Max. Just because he's gonna be, it's gonna be very easy to hit him and very easy combos are gonna be taken here. And we're gonna see a lot of jab, jab, power dunks. Oh, and wow, what a combo from the, from the Rob. He gets almost secures a really early stock, but now Terry is very high percent. I really like seeing the Terry pick here. I think Terry is really fun to watch. Not fun to play against. <laughs> and now Go coming up for Terry. That's going to be really big. Let's see if we can hit a Buster Wolf or a Power Geyser here. Oh, and just, wow, what a good edge guard there from the Ness, just taking a really, really stock to go up one. I actually go up two, sorry, but Palutena took lost their stock and I didn't even notice. And now it's, it's looking, it does not looking great for, uh... 
for uh, Cordia here. They need to take a stock here before Palutena goes down one more, and there goes Nate on this first loss right there. So now it is a one, one stock lead for McCook. But again, Palutena is low and, or very high and goes down. And there goes Ness as well for the first stock, but it's still a one stock lead. You're going to need to hit a good amount of power geysers or, you know, a buster wolf, something big here. Uh, he goes for a buster wolf, but misses. And Terry's going to go down there too, and now it is a two stock lead. And it's not looking very good for Concordia here. I personally would just really be trying to focus this Rob here. Seeing how aggressive he is this whole match. It's crazy. Now, oh, Tana goes down, and now it's just a cleanup job for T on Terry. Pretty much over, unless the Terry pulls a master class of a comeback, which is possible. They're both very high percent on their second stock, but again, it is their second stock. You know, almost a, th a three stock lead here. Oh, and that will be the Ness's stock. Oh, and the Ness SDs! Oh, this is this is winnable! He can do it! He's gotta play a very, very good game here. And there goes the Rob! It's a 1-1-1-1 one, 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 one now. Can the can Sola and Terry clutch up here? He's got he's got go. That's just very scary. Buster Wolf hits! Taking Rob to 50%. Oh, and that's gonna do it though. And Nate secures the final pick to go up 2-1 against Concordia. I'm um, very interested to see what happens here. Now, if I'm the cook here, I might try out the table. It might sound crazy. I know I was super against it before, but you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna throw him off guard if you play K Roll here, and if you're very comfortable in him, I would like that pick. But it looks like we're gonna go back to Ness, and we're gonna go back to Terry. And we are playing on small battlefield this match. Uh, this is game four. If McCook wins this, it's over. And third place will go to McCook. Now we're seeing a very early edge guard from Ness. Uh, oh, Tana's at a very high percent already, and so is Terry. And seeing Rob at 12 is very surprising. And very, oh, and ooh, he barely lives there. Oh, Tana's in trouble. Terry's in trouble. Can we see an edge guard for the Terry? No, we do not. Oh, Tana, very high percent as well. Terry makes it back to stage. I want to see a Buster Wolf or a Power Geyser here out of them. Oh, but Palutena kills them to go up to make it even. And there goes Palutena making it a one stock lead here really early for McCook. Now this whole game I've been saying you have to get rid of that Rob. And we need to see it very soon here, or else this is going to be very bad, very fast for Concordia. Terry with the... Oh, and that's going to be big. That's going to be a really big back here from Terry. 
very big edge guard. And now Terry's at a high percent again, and so is Ness. But it is an even game. Man, he, Sola's doing a lot with a little of uh, Terry's recovery. It's actually impressive how often he can recover, and he hits a Buster Wolf to send Ness off. Going up one stock. Very cool seeing the Buster Wolf come out there. And that is a much needed take there. Force Fork and Cordia. Now Palutina off stage and he hits another Buster Wolf. He, I'm surprised. Oh, and there's the power geyser that I was just gonna say we haven't seen too much of, but Palutena goes down, making it even again, and another Buster Wolf comes out and takes the stock off of Ness, but he restocks. Oh man, and now this is trouble for Rob. I would be going for him. Oh, but Terry goes down, no more go. And now it's an even match yet again. Oh, if I'm Rob here, oh, and there he goes. If I'm, I'm no longer Rob here. <laughs> no one's Rob here anymore, but now it is a 2v1. And this Ness has got to play a very, very good game to come back here. Seeing that Terry and Palutena are both at very low percent. And that's going to do it for game four. The Buster Wolves have been huge that game. Do it again. Going 2 2, going to a game five, third, four, the third place match. Game five scenario, very exciting here. Are we going to see the K roll? And we are. Now this is going to be really interesting. He is a K rule main. I am very excited here to see what happens. And we're going to put Pokey Stadium 2, which again is McCook's preferred map. Now, if you're K Wolf here, you're going to want to be living to a really high percent, maybe taking away some Buster Wolf's power. Now, this edge guard is going to be very scary for Concordia here. The K Wolf's is kind of commanding the ledge, but Terry finally gets back. Now, we got to see something on this Rob here while the K Wolf's off stage. Malice and Sola are both very high percent and they're going, it's going to get very scary for them very soon. But Rob is at a surprisingly low percent as well. Hyrule's taking high percent. And there's a Buster Wolf coming out. But it won't be enough to take a stock as he's a very low percent still. That is going to be big for a comeback. Oh, that's a... Big dash attack from K-Roll, knocking both of them off stage, and somehow K-Roll does not fall to that Buster Wolf, but he will fall to the Palutena, making him go up one stock here. And there goes Terry and Palutena, and now uh, McCook is going to go up one stock. Well, Bob is at a manageable percent still. No, maybe a little dangerous. But he is a heavy, he's heavier, so we might see him. Oh, and there he goes. Now it is even once again. Very even match for a game five. That's what you want to see. And the K rules at a very high percent again, but he can live up to 180, maybe even 200 percent in some wild cases, which would be huge for McCook. Just living. It seems to be what they want to do here. And it's, uh, Rob is comboing the O and the forward, uh, forward tilt takes out his uh, Palutena here, making it a one stock lead. But uh, Rob is getting bullied here while the uh, K roll is off stage. I really like the strategy of not really trying to edge guard the K roll because we don't have the craziest edge guard characters right now, and K roll has a really, really lenient recovery vertically. So. I like that, but K rule <laughs> gets. Oh man, that was a crazy up smash from uh, 
K Rule taking that stock off of Sola, and now it's a two stock lead. Oh, but K Rule goes down. Now it is a one stock lead. And there goes Rob making it an even game again, but Palutena's at the highest percent out of all of them. Palutena's in trouble. There we go. That's a good jab jab power dunk. Just getting, you know, some percent there. But a stage control is firmly in the Cook's hands, and the K rule is in a very good position. And if you're outliving, this is the position you want to be in. And there goes Palutena, and it looks like this is about wrapped up, unless this Terry puts up, a, unless Sola puts up a really good comeback here when Go comes up. But they're going to be playing very carefully around it. Terry's in trouble. Not does, cannot continue, uh, cannot control the map as only one person. Very hard to do. The K roll's getting a little high. And no, that's a very good recovery. Dangerous recovery for Terry. I'm surprised he got off stage there. But uh, this K roll, oh wow, what a good parry. That was crazy. And that's gonna do it. McCook takes the game from Concordia for third place. And I love the K roll pick there. That's gonna wrap it up. And third place goes to McCook.